In honor of Halloween, let's let's go to Brandon. Uh, he am in New Jersey who believes that ghosts are real and has evidence to support it. So welcome, Brandon. How are we going to prove ghosts today? How you doing, Matt and Jim? Um, so I actually have actual evidence, a video clip that I'm prepared to send to email to you. Okay. And, um, um, yeah, so you had a debate a couple years ago with the Jay Dyer. Do you remember him? Yeah. So during the video, I've seen something that looks similar to what people call an apparition. Now, I personally have, have had for myself to convince me that there's definitely an afterlife. Okay. And what convinced you that, that this experience proved that there is an afterlife? What was the, the, the experience? So, so, real quick, you know, I was a, uh, a, a custodian at a gym. I was working overnight. I was cleaning in the bathroom. I saw a man walk into the stall, and he never came out again. I was so in disbelief, I walked in, just like walked all the way in to verify he was gone. He was not there. Okay. I mean, I've seen, I've seen a girl's face change. I've freaking heard, heard my name whisper, disembodied voices. I've had quite a few experiences and have friends that have even crazier experiences than that. So how do you verify that any of the things that you experienced are actually, that your understanding of that experience is accurate? Like, how do you know that you weren't hallucinating or seeing things or didn't have some sort of you know, mental defect or chemical defect, or how do you know that what you think you saw or experienced is in fact, what was, what was happening? Right. I got you. Um, well, none of those times was I under any influence of alcohol or drugs or going through any type of crazy depression. Also, I've taken, I've taken pictures and captured things. So there's a lot of movies. I've experienced things with my own eyes. And, yeah. 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 So there's movies like paranormal, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what, um, this thing that you saw in the video clip, what, what is it that you think you saw and how could it possibly prove that there's a ghost? Well, I, I think I saw an apparition and it looks like other sightings of apparitions that people call apparitions. So I'm comparing it to that, including the one in your video. That you'll see once uh, I that's what I'm talking about. It's the one, the one in my video, but okay. the fact that you're looking at a, a, a video recording and you think there's an apparition there, that doesn't mean it's an apparition, right? That's correct. So how would we go about proving that what you think is an apparition is in fact an apparition? Well, I'd say it, it moves us closer in that, in that direction of believing. So there's a whole idea out there that there are such things as ghosts and people have captured things. And when I'm looking at a debate that has nothing to do with ghosts or anything like that, and it's not a paranormal show, and I see something similar to what I've seen on paranormal shows or, or video footage that other people have captured, I associate that with the general consensus of what an apparition is. I agree. And it's perfectly understandable that you would associate it with that, but you can't call in and say that you have evidence to support that ghosts are real. If your evidence is here's just another thing that I think looks like a ghost, but I can't prove it. All right. Cause none of those shows are convincing that they are actually showing what they claim to be showing in any way, shape or form. None of them are convincing. What do you mean, like, oh. In the entire, what we mean is that in the entire history of human beings, there has never been sufficient evidence worth believing that a ghost has actually interacted with anyone ever anywhere. Well, on a scientific level, how could we possibly know that this is an apparition like defined by nature? Like I don't know. That's not, that's not a problem with science. That's a problem with your claim. You might as well right. be saying, I have a claim that magic works, but science can't ever detect it. Well, if science can't detect it, how did you detect it? You're, you're therefore claiming to detect the undetectable. It's not a problem with science that science can't confirm bullshit. Well, well, well even claiming something is bullshit is still a claim that can't be proven. 
No, no, no. Bullshit is the label that I put on stuff. That bullshit, bullshit is the label that I put on stuff that people believe without good evidence. I'm not saying it's not true. If it's true, you can actually present the evidence to confirm it. And until you do, it's bullshit. Right. So, because if you're saying that, that a well, ghost what if, your, is... what if your camera captures something that your eyes don't see, though? Okay. Captured orbs. That would be that would be really cool. That would be really cool if a camera captured something that the eyes couldn't see. The point is to go prove it. Right. Because a lot of those orbs are nothing more than a, a the camera picking up dust in the air. Um, because the camera is uh, cameras can be more sensitive than human eyes. That's nothing new. Um, that visual effects happen through lenses is nothing new. That we try and interpret whatever we see uh, is also nothing new. Um, none of that proves an apparition. If you're saying that an apparition is a soul, then your first step to proving it's possible for apparitions to exist is to prove that souls exist. And then you need to prove that, oh, hey, yes, they can in fact hang around after death. Um, those are two very distinct steps and taking a picture of something that your eyes can't see just means that your eyes aren't as good as cameras and okay, I'm fully will willing to admit that. Yeah. Um, I'm also willing to admit that the, the nature of glass lenses means that they're going to react differently to various, uh, light sources differently as well. I'm literally, no big deal. Jim and Jim and I are both sitting here wearing glasses right now. I'm also in a studio, so you right. can see the reflection of the, the monitors in my glasses, but I can see things in my glasses just because of the way glasses and my the lenses in my eyes work, where because I'm lit from different angles, I can see like a pair of eyes almost ghostly floating in front of me here. It would be very easy to set this in front of a camera and get something that looks like an apparition. I don't give a shit if it looks like an apparition. I care if it is an apparition. But how could we possibly know that it's well, you're the one that's claiming it is. That's not my problem. The the question is, how do you know it's an apparition? Again, I'm associating with what we generally believe to be apparitions. No, so well, I, I, and, and but Matt and I have already oh. pointed out that and these said, paranormal shows are at best unconvincing and at worst complete frauds. And it also sounds like you're driving. So between the fact that you're probably driving and be, and and your acknowledgement that you don't have any way to prove the thing that you called in to prove, I'm just going to move on to another caller, Brandon. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you taking my call. Yep. yep. Later. If you get better evidence, by all means. That's, yeah. that's the thing. And I appreciate that about Brandon and, and other people. It's yeah. like, hey, I know you're convinced. I want to know why you're convinced. And in Brandon's right. case, it seems like Brandon's convinced because other people are convinced and this sounds like what they're convinced of. Yep. And uh, pointing to the supernatural or shows, you know, the, the, what are they? Ghost hunters or I don't know what the, the heck they're called. The, the show's called, but the, every episode I've seen has been wholly unconvincing um, and quite possibly fraudulent and just, doesn't make any sense why you'd accept any of that is true. Yep. 